Canva AI tools aren't perfect, but these are gonna save you a ton of time editing your videos. I've tested a bunch of the Canva video AI features, and these ones are actually the ones that are gonna save you a lot of time editing your video. Let's jump straight into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to canva.com, go to create, and this you're just gonna type in video. It'll give you tons of different options for you to choose from. Today, we're just gonna be working on a mobile video. So we'll click mobile video. Now I'm gonna upload one of the videos I'm working on. You go here to uploads and I'm gonna upload my video. So I upload the video that I'm gonna be working on. So one of the first things we're gonna do is gonna use highlights. Highlights are gonna find the best parts of your videos and clip them out really, really good for long form videos. So what we're gonna do is go to edit and you'll go to highlights here, hit highlights and it's gonna highlight those sections of your video. Now you can select which highlights you wanna keep. We're just gonna keep them all and then we're gonna to add to the selected design. So we're just gonna click it that it already clipped my video already. This is gonna save you a ton of time by doing this, especially in your long form videos. Now you can use other tools, but I like this because it's very quick and it helps with your editing. The next thing we're gonna do is background remover. So let's say I wanna remove the background here. I'm just gonna split. So it splits the clip. Then I'm gonna go here and go edit again and go to background remover. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna remove the background. So what I wanna do is actually go here, hit a duplicate. So I duplicated that video, pull it up here to the top, and I'm actually gonna remove the background to this video. That way, if you wanted to put captions in the back of your video, you can do so. So I'm gonna go to edit, background remover. It removed the background to that clip. Now I'm gonna go to text. So I wanna have that background overlay in the back. So I'll do close more deals, cause that's what this video is about that I'm gonna be posting on LinkedIn. But I'm just gonna bold it. Let's do effects here. Let's give it a little bit of color a little bit of background here, make it a little bigger. And I'm gonna put it right here in the background. Now I want it to kind of cut off. So I'll, let's make it just a tad bit bigger here. Stretch this out a little bit. From here, whatever you want in the text in the background, you're actually gonna grab the text here on your timeline and pull it down beneath that video. So it'll clip beneath the, it's behind the silhouette and my head. That's how you can add the captions to the background. Now let's say I actually don't like the background or I just wanna put in a unique background that I wanna add. You'll just go right here where it says background, click on backgrounds, and let's say we wanna add this background. So I just double clicked and now I'm gonna add the background again underneath the back. Now it's over the top of the captions. If I wanted it to be here, I would just drop it down. Now it's behind the captions behind my head. You don't have to have a green screen, do magic mask or anything like that. You can just remove the background, add in the background footage that you want to your video, speeding things up really quickly for you. So the next thing we're gonna add, number three, is gonna be adding in your B-roll. The nice thing about Canva, it is literally all in one. You have all types of different videos already that you can just import in to Canva or into your video. On a lot of platforms, you have to go find the, the videos, find the B-roll and add it in. It's really nice here because it's all in one where you're editing your video. So let's just say like this is all about money. So I'm gonna add money. It has the text overlay here, right? And I, if I wanted to add the video, I could just add the video to my clip. But the next thing you're gonna do is let's say you don't just wanna find a video, you wanna create your own B-roll that you wanna add. That's very easy. Now we would just go here to Magic Media and then go to Video. Now this uses VO3 for the video. To create a prompt that we want, we can just create one ourselves, or what we can do is actually ask Canva. This is another great tool. So we'll ask Canva. Now we wanna ask Canva how to draw a prompt about the topic that we have. This can be great for giving you ideas for your B-roll to put in the proper prompt. So let, and another way to do this, we could go back to the homepage here and go to Canva AI 
and go to video clips. It's If it's a little easier for you to use this, let's do cinematic 16 by 19, that the, the phone version is coming soon, right? And then the framing, it'll allow you to have framing here if this is gonna be helpful. Or what we can do is like I had mentioned, ask the chat, ask that question and it's gonna come up with a prompt to help me when putting in the prompt to create that video. All right, so we'll just copy this prompt, paste it in here, and then we're just gonna click generate video. So this is gonna generate my video for the B-roll that I can just add right in. So again, saving you time so you don't have to go on other platforms like Gemini or ChatGPT to come and grab prompts or just create video. You can do it all right here in Canva. So we'll wait till that's done. There you go, created the video. Now I would probably remove the sunlight just a little bit in that scene, but it's, pre it's, it's, it's pretty good for the first prompt. Now what I highly suggest, since you can't just keep doing these videos over and over, really refine your prompt before you add it in here. So you just double click and it'll add the footage to your video. We now have the video or B-roll that we created for our video and we can just input that however we see fit. Now the next thing we're gonna do is AI voice or voiceover. Say you wanted to voice over a piece of, of the video or the content, you can do that as well as if you wanted to use AI voice. So we'll just do that. Go to audio and you'll see here where it says record voice generate AI voice. We're just, we're gonna record voice right now. We'll allow this time and then we'll just record. Creating an AI voiceover for one of my videos just to show you how it works. So we'll finish that. So now it has the voiceover for that. That's the voiceover feature. Now let's say I wanted to add in an AI voice. Again, I will go back to audio, go generate AI voice, we can choose and here you can choose from different AI voices to use. You can even change the accents. So let's say we wanna do Portuguese and then you just type up here, how to close more deals, listen more. You wanna close more deals. And then you can just generate the AI voice that'll generate it and it'll add it into your timeline. So now we have the AI voice in our timeline here, it'll just play the AI voice now. Now, the next thing you could do, let's say we wanna extract the audio and enhance our voice. That's gonna be the next thing, extracting the audio from the video, because maybe you wanna remove some stuff from your audio or enhance your audio. So let's just go to audio tools here, extract audio. Now I have my audio from this clip extracted. I could replace the audio with the AI voice. Let's say I want to replace it completely with the AI voice. I can do so by just deleting the audio that I pulled out. Or what I could do is enhance it. Say if you're outside, it's super windy, or you just had bad audio in general, you can do that. So what I'm going to do for that is you go here to enhance voice, and it's going to enhance that audio and improve that audio. So if you have really bad audio, by just doing enhanced voice, that'll enhance the voice and make it sound that much better. Remember, people are willing to watch really bad video, but not willing to or listen to really bad audio. So you wanna make sure you have good audio in all of your videos. So the next thing we're gonna add is captions. Captions are extremely important, especially for your videos, because one, a lot of people won't listen to sound while they watch your video. Two, in addition to that, it's nice because it actually keeps people's attention with captions popping up in your video as well. So you can use captions within your video and it's super easy in Canva. So we'll go to captions and then we're gonna generate captions for this video only, generate captions. So now it generated the captions for my video. So now that it has my captions, you can go in and edit your captions. Just click on the caption itself, go to captions. It has all the captions right here. Let's say for some reason you want to delete a line, you can just delete a line. Now, the next thing we're going to do is animate those captions. We can just go to animate, go here, and it's going to animate when I say the word. Or I can go here, and then it's going to do the, the same thing 
but reveal it. And similar, it's gonna underline those captions for me and you can choose what color you want it to underline those captions for you. Or highlight the captions. All right, the final thing we're gonna work on is going to be, let's say you just have a bunch of different clips from either an event you went to or something that you were doing where you have different clips and you, you're just struggling to come up and be creative with ideas. You can go to here to, des to design, right? Grab those clips. Let's say these are the clips I wanna use, right? Let's, let's limit it to just the three here. Let's um, grab these three. Say these are the three videos I wanna use. I'll open this in design. All right, so it has all these clips and basically it's gonna create a design for me. So I'm just gonna say generate a design. All right, so it has these clips and I'm just gonna tell it, I wanna create a video tutorial on how to close more deals, create captions and make this flow. Then I'm just gonna generate the design. See, it created an entire video all by itself with captions going over how to close deals with the short clips that I had. So if you're struggling with design, this can kind of help you get some ideas for designing that video. And when you combine all of this together, it makes editing that much faster and that much quicker. So you can use Ask Canva to come up with prompts to help you come up with scripts. That way you don't have to jump to different tools it is all in one place. You can edit your videos, cut out videos, remove the background so you don't need green screen. This can save you so much time and that way you can edit and make a pro quality video. That's every Canva AI tool worth using right now for editing your videos. So you can spend more time creating and less time editing. If you like the videos that I'm putting out, like, subscribe, and comment below on the videos that you're working on or anything that you're struggling in that I can possibly help. And I'll either one, create a video on that um, topic or just answer your question. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.